I had such beautiful days in Sinazese, but it's now time to keep heading east. Next stop over, Mazabuka, before heading back to the northeast part of Lake Kariba in Siavanga. Alors en fait, je suis les convois des extrêmes. Là, vous voyez. The road gets crazy. Not many cars, but many trucks around here. I'm still so impressed to see these packed and heavy trucks on such bad and dangerous roads. They are obviously very slow because this road is steep. I hesitate so much before overtaking them, every time. Because remember, I'm driving a left-hand drive vehicle in a country where we drive on the left side of the road. I finally reached Mazaboka by the end of the day. I'm literally sweating from driving hours on such horrible road conditions. I need to withdraw some cash and honestly, I do not see me driving more. I have to stop for the night. Mazabuka originates from a Tonga local language which means to cross over the river. It's believed that the name was made up after the Tonga people crossed the Kafue River during their migrations. Mazabuka is also the sweetest town in Zambia. This is because sugar canes are grown on a large scale here. Anyway, I like this town. I like the vibes already. Let's see if I can find a spot around. But first, let's withdraw some money. I could always find ATM so far and almost anywhere, which is very practical. I can't give you more information about this matter now because I'm still traveling and I need to be careful with everything I share. I think this is the first time ever I go to a restaurant and I could park Rafiki in the parking where I'm going to spend the night after the game. The next day, I got back on the road towards Lake Cariba, again. I had such a great but short night celebrating the game with amazing locals I met at the restaurant. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't stop singing and dancing while driving. I'm such in a good mood because I love Zambia. Now, I just need some fruits and veg and I'll be ready for the next days to come. And of course, I'm not the only one with the idea. All my truck driver friends are craving fresh fruits and veg, apparently. Alors, pas à eux, qui sont m'inspirent pas. Zambian people are so full of joy and kindness. I'm actually joking with the ladies about no husband, no problems. I can see the look. I see the way people stare at me constantly. Men, women, kids, doesn't matter. To be honest, I haven't seen tourists in the Victoria Falls and I love it this way. They all ask me the same questions over and over again. But where is your husband? Why are you alone? Buy the one! Buy! <laughs> ciao ladies! Ciao! And when I explain my adventures to them, they can't believe their eyes. But yes, it's possible. Everything is possible.
also driving from the city, very close a city town, very close um, from Lusaka, the capital of Zambia. And this road is actually so dangerous. I've just saw like an accident now between a big truck and a very small car. The small car is, I mean, terrible. Um, it's um, it's very, I mean, those truck drivers, um, I mean, they do a very, very dangerous job because the roads here in, in Zambia are not good and those guys, they are risking their life um, every day. It's crazy and they risk, they also like put in danger like the life of others, right? Like this guy in the small car, um, I've just, I just saw.